this is a setup uh, that I have here to collect and store the energy from the sun. I'm using a solar PV array, which is 470 watts, to uh, heat the tank, which is on the left, which is a 40 gallon hot water, electric hot water tank. The one on the right is identical to it, but wearing a blanket. And so what I've done is installed the TechLock MPPT controller, which is a board, computer chip populated board that looks like that. And it is connected to the panels. What you can see here is the small light flashing indicating that we have power coming in. And I'm going to take a reading here. And show you what the voltage is on the left, or rather my right. So it's reading 57.7 volts on the load. Now the way I've hooked it up is a little bit different than what the Tech Luck guy suggests. I have decided since mine is an isolated tank and he is basically advertising for a hybrid solar hot water tank, he leaves the top element uh, of this connected to the grid and then he hooks up the MPTT controller to the bottom. So he takes this whip here and he attaches it to the bottom element in here. Since I have a totally isolated tank here, I decided to, it didn't matter if the power is coming into the tank, it can either do the top element or the bottom. What I did do though is turn the element right down to low on the top element. So it's at 90 Fahrenheit set point and the bottom one is right now it's set at 150 Fahrenheit. So basically this is a preheater and we'll make it a little bit uh, less onerous for both the tank on the right and my pocketbook by supplementing roughly on a good day probably 3500 watts coming in which should more or less heat that 300 pounds of water that's sitting in that tank. So this is it. This is the MPPT controller. Pretty neat device heating my water and acting as a basically a storage device for the electricity because everybody needs hot water.